Hello, I'm Pastor Keith, and I am very pleased to bring the seventh and final devotional to you and share this time with you. And it, as all the others, is based on 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 11 and 12. But as for you, O man of God, flee these things. Pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, steadfastness, gentleness. Fight the good fight of faith. And it's fight the good fight of faith that I am talking about today. It is so important that fight the good fight of faith is included in this list of characteristics that we are to pursue and continue to work on as a Christian. Now I'm not saying or implying that fight the good fight of faith is the most important one of the seven characteristics, but it does take resolve, determination, and a willingness to fight if we are going to grow in any of these seven areas. There are so many pressures or thoughts that push us toward giving up the fight for growing as a Christian. I wanna talk about just two of them. First of all, there's coasting. We can have the human tendency to coast in, in certain areas of our life. Coasting is when we exert little or no effort to improve or change the situation that we are in. We might be very engaged in most areas of our life, but be a coaster at work, or be a coaster at home, or as a spouse, or as a parent. As a Christian, I know that I am coasting when I have no problem with the fact that I am exerting no effort to grow in my walk with Jesus. And I am okay wherever this Christian walk takes me. I am comfortable with others doing not only what they are called to do, but also covering for me. Coasting is fun and easy until it stops. If you think about sliding or sliding down a hill, uh, that it's, it's a wonderful feeling going down that hill and you're, you're hanging on to the sled, uh, but exerting no other effort except to just hang on and enjoy the ride. And, but when you get to the bottom, uh, everything changes. When coasting stops, it takes even more effort to get started again. And if you think of going back up and climbing that hill again, it is far better to daily and consistently sow into my relationship with God than to only put in effort when I realize I have stopped pursuing Him. Do you feel that you are coasting in your relationship with Jesus? The second one is distractions. We can become distracted by many different things that are not necessarily bad in and of themselves, but seriously draw us away from growing as a follower of Jesus. TV, hobbies, work, relaxation, certain friendships, and a very long list could be put forth here, but any of these things and so many more can become more important than growing in the things of God. My two biggest struggles are watching TV and checking the news far more often than what I need to. In relation to the news, I usually do that on my computer and I'm at my computer a lot most days, so it's very easy and a great distraction, a bad distraction, to, to just click on what the latest and greatest is and actually maybe even be excited if one thing has changed since the last time I checked. I definitely check the news way too often. And as far as TV, I spend too much time watching it. It's, uh, I, the programs are fine that I watch, but I just spend too much time doing it and it takes away from not uh, from all other aspects of my life. So, and that including my walk with Jesus. Are you struggling with something that is taking the place of pursuing Jesus? Because it is so easy to give up fighting for all that walking with Jesus offers us, let's pray. Father God, I thank you that you meet us right where we are at. Whether we struggle with the things I mentioned or in other ways in our relationship and walk with you, you, you are fully aware. It just takes us to come to you, be honest, and ask you to help us. So Father, we do that right now. Help us with what we are struggling with right now, 
so that we can grow closer to you, be more consistent in our relationship with you, and, and have you meet us where we're at and take us to a better place. We thank you, Jesus, that you are faithful to do this. In your mighty name, amen. And I wanna thank you. I, I'm wrapping this devotional up with this being the, the seventh one, but on behalf of everyone, thank you for, for being persistent and consistent in, in uh, checking in on these videos and in also doing the work in the, in the journals. Thank you for doing that. I pray that you have been blessed.